Hello everybody, it's Random Terry here bringing you another Dollar Tree haul. Did you miss me? Probably not, but here I am again. Um, I'm bringing you some snackies that I found. It's not only snackies, but I'm kind of grouping them together and this is what I'm starting with. So the first thing is just crispy dried carrots by Gnome. I think that's, that's how they pronounce it. Uh, that's how I would pronounce it. Um, and I've never tried these before, and I think they might have been there before, but I haven't picked them up. But I'm going to give them a try. Um, they look pretty, pretty healthy because the only ingredient is carrots. So I'm not sure how they dry them or chip them. Maybe it's just like dehydrated. It doesn't really say. Um, but carb, total carbohydrates is 50 gram, or 15 grams with four of dietary fiber. If you wanted to see that. I'm not sure if you can see it or if you can screenshot it, but if you're interested in nutrition facts, which usually I look at with everything I purchase that has one on it. So unless I've purchased it before and I know what it what's in it or I just don't care, but I've been caring a little bit more. So I look at the packaging. Um, so I'm going to try those. I only bought one of those because I don't know how I'm going to like it. So that's that. And then I found some, oh yes, these peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Ooh, we just kind of went through a big, no, oh, we didn't go through it that fast, but we had a big tub of pretzel nuggets from Costco and they were pretty tasty. Um, and we're gone with those. So I thought I'd buy a couple little packets of these to have on hand. They're also handy to carry in the car if you go on a trip or anything. So thought I'd have these on stock. I'll give those a try. And there are four servings in this container. And on this, I don't, this is one of those items that I didn't really care about the nutrition facts because let's be honest, I'm not planning on eating these. These are for the husband. That's not true. I know he likes these and I thought a smaller package would be beneficial as opposed to the big tubs again. So cut down on how much you put in. But I did get but again these little snacks. These Welch's fruit and yogurt snacks I bought again. They are really tasty. Now they're not just all fruit in there. It's like a fruit puree, kind of like the gummy snack type fruit things, more of a fruit than of a processed thing. But there's a lot of ingredients in there which I'm not going to read through. Sugar and corn syrup being some of them. So but they're really good. The guy likes them. And uh, I've tried one or two of them. And they are pretty pretty much like the pictures. Like little gummy snacks. So I thought these would be candy. Just have like a little sweet. Or a sweet tooth. On hand. And then this next product I saw in a big bag at Costco. And I bought some. And I've been eating them. And then I found them at Dollar Tree in a smaller bag. Now this is a three serving size pouch. Of this keto snack mix. And they, the, they're products of Canada, China, Greece, Romania, and USA. So peanuts, pepitas, almonds, walnuts, dried cheddar cheese, and milk cheese culture, salt, and natto for color. Okay. So this is just a snack. It's a keto-friendly snack, and I do eat them, and I thought, well, I'll have a little small bag if I just want to take a little bit with me. So I bought a couple bags of those to have on hand. Always good to have something on hand that you can eat if you're on trying to diet and stuff, try to plan ahead. So um, then I thought I saw these rain ponchos. So I bought one in blue and one in pink and I'm going to put them in the car just in case we get trapped in the rain sometimes. I used to have one in there, but I don't remember if it's still in there. It's my old toolbox that I've had some long ago. I don't know where it is, but I used to carry in the back of the car. And probably the rain poncho, probably not any good anymore. So I bought a couple more to put in the car. You never know when you're going to need them. And for a buck, to have something to keep you dry if you need it. And they say they are reusable. And they look pretty good size. 39.4 inches by 50 inches. So, and they are a green briar product. And they say they're durable. And I just got some pretty colors. 
I'm not sure what other colors they had offhand. Okay, then moving along, I saw this end cap and the packaging caught my eye, I have to say, I have to say. Um, advertising, packaging, can do it for people. Uh, these are some wipes, they're hand wipes, and I, this caught my eye, and you know what, let me, oh, okay, yep, smells like coconut, love my coconut, I'm gonna try to get that sealed back down so it doesn't leak, <clears throat> I'm not gonna try the citrus one right now, but the coconut one, I have to be honest, is the one that caught my eye because I like coconut. And they only had like a couple of them. So I grabbed one and then it had more of these and I thought citrus usually smells pretty good. So I thought to have these in the car as well, wipe your hands off with. Um, they don't say that they're antibacterial, water, glycerin, diazonylurea, methylparaben, cocoa something, polysorbate, 20 fragrance. So it doesn't say that there's anything in there that's antibacterial with this. But, lo and behold, in that same area on the M cap, there was a theme going on. I bought some good and clean uh, antibacterial or disinfectant wipes. Disinfectant wipes, that's what they call Bactiv, they had a whole bunch of these. This must be something new, recently at least because it doesn't say where it's from manufactured in China. It is not a Dollar Tree product. It does not say Greenbrier. I can't really see what it says. Manufactured for something, Inc. Zuru, Zunu, I can't read that, it's so small. Put it down there really small. So, and then these other made in China. Made in Italy. Right. Yep. I didn't know if you saw that, but that does make, say made in Italy. I was almost going to drop it there. Um, so the good and clean, they're disinfectant wipes, lemon scented. These don't say if they're scented at all. I'm not sure if the ingredients are different, but this they this sells, says it kills the virus. That's going around. 99%, 99.9% of bacteria a virus and this one as well so <clears throat> they might be handy to keep in the car because every once in a while when we do take a trip or something and I have to stop at a public restroom from going any distance I like to have these I used to carry a little bottle of Lysol spray in my purse and now I carry hand sanitizer and sometimes I squirt that on things and use toilet paper to wipe things off so this might be a little bit better to have if I want to carry it in with me so those are, or at least one of them is going to go in the car for now. The other one might be as well as these. So at least have one of each of those in the car if I need it. And then I kind of went down the tech and car aisle. You know what? Let's do these fragrances. I found, oh, this smells good, um, some hanging air fresheners for the car. There's three in each one hanging. They look like the candle ones. Um... They do have a little scratch and sniff up here. This one caught my eye, the Moonlight Cool, and I thought, what does that smell like? And I think this is the only one, or maybe have been another one that <clears throat> was in my store and I picked up one. Oh yeah, this one smells very familiar. And I think it might be a dupe for the Yankee Candle, um, I like something so I mean because it really smells like that a little electric car if anybody knows what that is um, and maybe that's why I like this but for three of them I thought that would be three for a buck and try that hang into my car make it smell good and then I picked up the vanilla because who doesn't like vanilla <clears throat> I know there's some people that probably don't like vanilla not vanilla people but it's not a bad fragrance and I'm not sure, I get that fragrance of vanilla, but then there's another after scent that I don't know, but we'll see if I like this when I open them up. The other one, definitely. And I don't know if maybe it was a hand that was on there that 
Honestly, the scratch and sniff thing smells a little bit like vanilla and sweat. So maybe I made a bad purchase here. But we will see. Because I think maybe it could have been just somebody's hands handling it that I'm smelling on the packaging. <clears throat> we'll give that a try. But this vanilla aroma that does come through smells pretty good. Yeah. I kind of want to have a bowl of ice cream now. Hard on. Hmm. <coughs> woke up not too long ago so it's like ugh. and I've been snoring so my throat is dry yes I snore now some of you might have seen that I did haul this in the past and I thought wouldn't it be cool if something could match it yes I've got a matching set and I did find the one that I needed so I can keep a, a cord in this and it's cool. It's cute. The pink gingham. I love the pink gingham. So that's what I, I think I bought a leopard one also. So um, we'll see. I've heard that you got to be careful about how many amps. And I got to check this out because it's a 2.1 amp USB 2.0. So I have to see if this is compatible. I'm going to have to look it up and see if it's like compatible, if it's too much, not enough, whatever. Because I have heard that you can ruin your phone if you use the wrong cord. And then I bought a micro USB cable. <laughs> we'll see how that 2.1 amp, so maybe they're mostly that high speed charging and data transfer. So I have a cord and I bought this because my son left me a, um, a charger. Uh, you just set it on it, wireless. You just set your phone on it and I didn't have a cord for it. And he says, it's just a USB, don't you have one? I was like, I couldn't find one. So I found one at Dollar Tree to pick up, give it a try. I am not even know if I'm gonna like it or not. And along with that, ooh, did I try this zipper? I did. Okay, so I bought another case, another tech case, another one of these round ones. But the thing is, I bought it because of the print on the back. Yeah, I haven't shown it to you yet, have I? flamingos they had flamingos so um this is going to be a little sneak attack for my sister i know yeah a little bit wonky but it's it's intact there and it works fine um so maybe she can use it for some little things in her purse or something because she does usually organize her purse and I'm not sure if she carries around cords with her or earplugs. I know she has a, an iPod still that she used to listen to. So I bought that and I just thought that was so pretty. They go that way on one side and that way on the other side. So, and I love the, the aqua background. It's like just classic aqua and pink. It's like classic Miami. So, which is where I grew up by the way. Sad to say, no, I'm kidding. It was fun not that I would want to go back there now because I'm a little bit more in the country setting and I really I really like it so I do however miss being able to go to the beach so um, then I found I walk along and I found one of these and I thought this would come in handy for something and I'll put this in my toolbox it's just like a little extending And it's a little bent, but it'll still work. Oh, it's a, it's a swivel head. Yeah, you can swivel. I'm, I don't want to break it right now, but so there's that. And you can, um, I might be kind of big to go in the back of a mouth to see behind things, but um, it kind of reminded me of a dentist tool. But I thought that would be kind of cool if you do want to get in to see, because there have been things, place or times when I have tried to look in the back of things. And I know my son took his phone one time. Where was it? We were looking down in the back of a wall when he was connecting the, the wires for the TV. He had the hole and he was trying to look down there and you can't look in because you can't put your head in and look down in the wall. So he put his phone in there with the um, camera on. And he could look at the screen and look down. And I thought that was quite 
resourceful of him. So, but every once in a while, it's good to have one of these. So that'll go in my toolbox, junk drawer, wherever I want to put that to do that. Now, I found these removable picture strips as well, the tool bench hardware, Dollar Tree. And I wanted to give them a try because I have used these and these work pretty nice without marring up the wall or putting push pins in. If it's something light, um, these are supposed to be removable. Um, and they're like the Velcro strips on each side. You put them together, you stick it on the back of your picture, you line it up, you press it on the wall. And then if you want to take the picture off, you pull the picture off and the one side should stay on there. And then, you know, and then you can pull it off. So, and then you can also pull it off if it's not quite centered and kind of reposition it a little bit and then push it back on. <clears throat> so, not too much because if you do, then you'll miss the strips. So, but it would give you a little bit of leeway for that. So I thought I would try that instead of spending as much as the command hooks want for these things. I look hideous today too, though. Oh my goodness. Okay. Moving along, a couple other items. I don't know how long this video is gonna wind up being. I know my phone's been wonky and limiting my videos, but um, I was looking for my vanilla syrup that I got. And that's a different brand than what I found, but this isn't even vanilla. It's the only one they had. It is a salted caramel, sweet sensations, sugar-free. Packaging on this is a little bit different. It looks, it is different. That's a different brand. And this is Sweet Sensation Syrup. Distributed by High Standards Newport Beach, California. So it is a different brand. It's not Dollar Tree, but um, they have this. And Salted Caramel. I thought I'd try that. I'm not a big fan of salted caramel, but it would probably be good. And you know what? I'm going to smell it. Let me see if these little arthritic hands can... I'll get you. There we go. Oh, it does smell caramelly. Oh my gosh. It smells like caramel and syrup. Which, it is a caramel syrup. Ah! Okay, I'm going to want to try that now. We'll just put that puppy right back up there. Get it all queued up. So, and then something utilitarian. I bought some of these garbage bags because we have a um, trash can in our laundry room that it's not like a 13-gallon um pale like the kitchen is it's kind of smaller but it's not small so small that the like your your walmart grocery bags and stuff that you get your dollar tree grocery bags the plastic ones would fit in really well to the bottom it's that mid size that sometimes you can't find so i just bought a pack of 14 of these 13 gallon bags <clears throat> they don't have to be heavy duty because it's pretty much just lightweight stuff that goes in there it is um Stuff from, pausing a minute, because I feel like I want to sneeze, and I'm not going to do that here. Back to our program. Didn't sneeze, but I worked whatever it was out. So, I bought these because it's a midsize, and these will fit in there, and all I put in it is, like, the lint and the dryer sheets. So, it's pretty lightweight, so I didn't have to have anything. So, this should work for us and it is a loop top closure so it looks like a large walmart or dollar tree bag groceries um but deeper hopefully because it's 13 gallon and i'll put that right there and then something else was actually been drying dying to try and i wanted to get this haul out but there's been people in the house and i worked a weekend and i wanted to put these on but um i found bomb equipment socks women's quarter socks and they are nicely padded in the sole and I want to wear these on the treadmill I'm going to try them and I used to like bum have favorite t-shirt 
used to wear all the time, used to be popular. Um, and now it's a Dollar Tree, so hopefully it holds up. They're um, not the softest, but they are cushy. So, you know what? I'm going to pop this puppet open. I don't rip my socks. <clears throat> Maybe I'll buy another one. Hopefully. Oh, my Santa. This is not working for me. Okay, this one's off. So, there's the sock. All threads off. Nice. It says, bum on, it says bum on the bum of the sock. Uh, it's uh, pretty stretchy. It's not that... It'll be fine on my foot. But yes, the bottom of it is cushy, and I believe there is a strip across there. Do you see it? That is like a compression across there. So I think I'm going to like these when I get on my treadmill, which I'm going to be getting on soon here. Um, and then I have to cut the other things out. So I'm going to try those on. I love it. It's pretty. They even use metallic on the packaging. Catches the eye. And, um, yeah, they had these in different colors, too. I picked the purple. I think they might have had a pink, and I think they had, like, a black and agua mix. I didn't commit the colors to memory. I'm sorry. So, um, and then I'm going to reach into another bag here, make a little noise. Make some noise. Get some other things out of the way. <clears throat> so, I've... My sister usually likes one of these calendars every year, and I finally found the calendars coming out. We had the whole end cap. I didn't find any of those fancy country calendars, though. Hmm. But my sister usually likes just a calendar, plain calendar. She can, without anything, if it's in a small space. Um, and she usually likes this every year, so I bought her one of those, sent her a picture. They had another one that had like a little border print around it, fancy things, but she liked this one better because she can add her own stuff and she didn't want all that extra I guess where she's going to use it so um yeah so she gets one of these every year when they have it so there's that that's going to be for her and excuse me I'm putting it back on a different chair um and then I'm going through that aisle the calendars and planners and such I found some planner stickers. Now, they don't call them planner stickers, but these are different. These are just stickers. There's 300. There's 300 in each one. All right. <clears throat> so, they do call them planner stickers. Okay, right by where my finger is, it does say planner stickers. But these are kind of different ones, and these are more like healthy workout stickers for your goals. And I thought they were really cool. They say drink your water, make healthy habit, make healthy a habit. Stay hydrated, no excuses, gains, goal. Got little bikes there, got little kettleball stickers, meal prep, meal prep. If you want your day that you meal prep to plan ahead, how many steps you get in, um, go the extra mile, sweet sweat, smile, repeat, beast mode, focus on you, can't stop, won't stop. And then your days that you do glutes, swim, cardio, yoga. Uh, and I thought this was just cool. Like rest, gym, rest, gym, rest, gym. So they have all those for planning, and I thought that was kind of cool. And this one is <clears throat> very similar. It says, let's do this, keep moving, push the limit, stay strong, crush your goals, let's do this. Um, little weights, little timers, miles, calories burned, steps, and then lift, yoga, run, swim, gym. Lift, yoga, run, swim, gym. Goals bunch of goal stickers and then let's do this keep moving little um drinks little cardio hearts with the the ekg rhythms on it miles calories burn let's see what's on the back ready sweat go little shoes <clears throat> those little shoes those are cute uh, drink your water a bunch of drink your water things and it looks like when you put the water stickers on there you fill them in when you finish your glasses that'd be kind of cool to color in um progress and then rest day or cardio day they have the little corner tabs to put on your calendar so um one 
of these I think I'm going to send to somebody. Um, I have somebody in mind that might like these, so mm -hmm. <clears throat> just putting that out there. Sometimes you can gift little things to people that you think they'll like. So, but I just thought those were cool since we're all into being healthy and stuff sometimes, and sometimes you need that little extra boost on a daily basis to motivate you. And some funky, pretty colors on your calendar, in your planner, might do it for you. So, okay, I don't usually buy wall stickers, the big ones. But this one spoke to me because I like sunflowers. Yes, I do. Um, and they are removable and they shouldn't damage. So they have the nice two flowers there. And then that one there. And it's not just a plain, it's like a mosaic looking kind of calico. Um, let me show you the back one. You can see it better. All the different prints on it as if it's like made like quilted or calicoed out of different fabrics and I just thought that was cool oh and they even have little bee stickers to buzz around them that's cool and then if you want to get an idea of what it would look like on the wall there's a picture of it if that is I'm not sure if that's okay it's not coming in um, focus there we go focus focus maybe okay so I thought I'd get those. I don't know if I want to put these up or where I want to put these. If I do, maybe for fall. But um, I may. I may. But I just had to get them. They're, they're flat, so they'll, you know, I can hide them in the bottom of my underwear drawer or something. And they won't take up much space at all. And then I found this, and I bought two of these. The... Do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. That's what it looks like on the wall. Uh, you put it up there. If you can see that. And this is how it comes. And then you take them off and you put them up there how you'd like. But I thought that was a really beautiful saying as well as the floral behind the, the banner print. So do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. And I just thought that was a good offering. And um, I'm contemplating. I bought two of these because I thought I might, might. <clears throat> like I said again, these are flat. They don't take much to store, much room. I'll make a, a plaque and put these on it. Like a wood plaque and frame it and put these on it. like a, Almost like a if I get like the Dollar Tree rulers, the wooden rulers and put them together, paint them white put this on it you know, like Mod Podge it so it's smooth on the front, sand it down a bit Mod Podge it so it's smooth, paint it, whatever <clears throat> put these on it and then like a little frame around it with maybe the Jenga blocks painted black um, and it would make a nice really pretty wall hanging just a thought, but I'm just thinking also the wooden rulers wouldn't go so far this way, but they would this way if you put it across. And it would look like beadboard or shiplap. There we go. So I bought two of those in case I wanted to give that a try. Because, ah, I might do that. Throw it in the cart. One of those spontaneous purchases. And then I found this other one, which I am going to... Put up in the laundry room because I thought it was cool. Wash, fold, dry, repeat. And they have it. That's how they styled it with theirs. Wash with the washer, dry with the dry, flow, repeat. So I just thought that was cool. And I guess these all peel off separately and you put them up where you want them. So I kind of go by the little picture because I like the way they did it. And I don't know if I'm going to put that on the plaque or if I'm going to stick that right on the wall. Time will tell. So that's my little wall stickers wall creations main street wall creations and are these a briar tree no 
made and distributed by Chartwell Studio. They have these a lot at Dollar Tree. I would thought they would have been their brand, but no. <clears throat> Chartwell Studios. Okay, and along the crafting thing, I happened to come across a box that has craft fabric in it. And I bought a couple rolls of it, little pet pieces of it. But I just, because I thought these bunnies were cute. And I could do something with a little snippet of fabric, even if it's just making a pillow cover for the holidays. And then I found this other one, which I just thought was cool. And it's kind of the colors are kind of pretty, would be for fall if I wanted to do something like that. So I just thought those were kind of cool. I'm, I have a craft, I have a <laughs> kind of have a fabric stash too. Yeah, I'm one of those. I'm trying to de-stash things, and here I go picking up more. But these were so cute. And I love the bunnies. That's what drew me in. And then I have been really digging, sleeping on a satin pillowcase, so I found another print. It's kind of kind of cool, kind of like Jimmy... Jimmy, 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 Geometric. Um, a geometric print with black, gray, white, and red. Black, gray, white, and red. Yeah, okay. Good Lord. Words are hard for me this morning. I'm sorry. So the satin pillowcases. And I find they're really, really nice. Sleep on. At first it used to kind of slide out from under my head, but I get it. I put my head on it and I start falling asleep. And finally it kind of conforms because I have a, mis or I have a, a, a conforming pillow. So it works fine. But I really like them. They washed up pretty nice. And they're supposed to be better for your hair. They're supposed to be smoother. They're supposed to be not like as uh, frizzing and tearing as a normal pillowcase. It's smoother. And supposedly not, if you have your face on it, it's supposed to not like create so many wrinkles and stuff. It's supposed to be better for your skin to sleep on too. So I've been using it. <clears throat> for a dollar, I'm not putting too much into that, you know, money-wise. So, to try it. Then I... You know, my nephew's kids like Paw Patrol. And every time I see something Paw Patrol, it's like I pick it up for them. I'm not sure if they appreciate it or not, but I like doing it. So I found a nightlight, which I just thought was cool for a dollar. And I think it's an LED nightlight. Yeah, LED nightlight says it on it. And um, it doesn't have a bulb in it. It's just like a little, well, it's an LED bulb. But it's just a little tiny thing in there. You can see that. I kind of turned around to see what it was. And it was just like a little dome with the light in there. So, And there is a switch, so you can turn it on or off if you want to. So I thought that was just cool for a dollar. Pop Heroes! Paw Patrol! So that'll go to them. Let me put that back over there with me. There we go. Okay. Then I am down to like my last two products. Aren't you glad? It's like half an hour into this already. Um, and I saw ribbon, and I don't know why they're different size spools. They both have nine feet in them. Three yards, this one's saying. This one says nine feet, which is the same, if you know your measurements. Yeah, nine feet, nine feet. Um, <clears throat> llama, and they call it Southwest Llama Ribbon, and this is Unicorn Ribbon. And I just thought those were cute and could be used for things. Yeah, I have a ribbon stash as well. So that's my last item for you today. I hope uh, you find something, you see something that might give you ideas to kind of try from Dollar Tree. Because it is, a you know, many things can be a bargain. I know many things can't. You can find it cheaper somewhere else. But if you can find many things all in one spot and convenience of having it and not having to go into a bigger store. Although, you know, you could probably wear your pajamas in either store, so it doesn't really matter. Um, you know, get it at Dollar Tree. I do. Just because I don't like going in the other store. And um, I make less spontaneous purchases doing, like, pick up groceries because I'm not in the store and finding things. That's why I come home so much from Dollar Tree. 
because I do it there instead. Um, so I hope you enjoy the haul. Sorry, I'm starting to babble now. Um, I hope everybody has a great day. I hope everybody's being healthy and enjoying happiness of some sort. Don't let people take it away from you. Hmm. Um, you create your own happiness one way or another. And everybody's different. And everybody needs to know that everybody's different. Everybody has different opinions. So um, with that, I will be saying goodbye and see you next time. Like and subscribe. I am going to, I'm trying to get some more subscribers because I am planning an upcoming giveaway. I just want to see the numbers kind of go up on my subscription. Um, and then I'm going to start posting like a few videos, kind of like pick this or that for the giveaway. So watch for those coming up. And uh, bye for now. That's it. Over.